Poodle versus Golden Doodle Are you looking for a new dog to add to the home? If so, you've probably been recommended countless breeds from friends, family, and maybe even co-workers. Yes, when it comes to picking out a dog, everyone has an opinion, but ultimately, it's up to you to decide what's best for you and your situation. Two dog breeds that commonly get brought up in discussion for both veteran and new dog owners are the Golden Doodle and the Poodle, which are some of the most popular dogs in the world at the moment. Both offer a unique and extremely fulfilling experience for pet owners, but which one is right for you? We're going to try and help you out with that as we roll out our official 2023 Poodle vs. Golden Doodle breed comparison. Stick around until the end to hear our verdict, and before we get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We're very excited to break down two of the coolest dog breeds out there, and so let's get right into it. Defining the Dogs Poodle The Poodle is a dog breed that is best described using words like glamorous, classy, and timeless. For well over a hundred years, the Poodle has been at the center of the dog world. And as we'll get into in just a minute, a huge part of the doodle craze we have been experiencing for the last 20 years. Poodles got their start back in Germany, where they would help with hunting and spent most of their time in the water. In fact, the name Poodle is actually based off of the German word for puddle as well. Poodles can spend so much time in the water because of their unique coat, which is not made up of fur like with other dogs. Poodles are hypoallergenic, and they have hair, sort of like humans. This hair is non-shedding, and this trait is very much sought after for people that have pet allergies or who just don't want to keep up with all of the shedded dog fur in the home. Besides their genetic advantages, poodles are also renowned for their high level of intelligence, great temperament, and ability to interact with children really well. For many, the poodle is the gold standard for dogs. But what does the golden doodle bring to the table? Defining the dogs, golden doodle. If the Poodle is a classic, then the Golden Doodle is the new big hit. This crossbreed has absolutely dominated the 21st century in terms of popularity. And when you think of who it gets its genes from, it makes a ton of sense. Golden Doodles are made up of Poodle and Golden Retriever genes, and it's usually more of the former than the latter. If you pick up a Golden Doodle, you can be reasonably sure that you're going to get a smart, friendly, and pretty goofy dog that will get along with the whole family. They may not have the style or grace that the Poodle commands, but they will absolutely melt your heart with how much fun they have in every moment of their lives. Comparing Size Now that we've met both of our dogs, it's time to put them up against each other so you can start to see how they size up with one another. And speaking of size, let's start by looking at how these dogs look when they grow up and what kind of options you have in terms of height and weight. Standard Poodles can clock in around 50 pounds at the smaller end and 70 pounds at the larger end, but that's not your only option here. There are Toy Poodles out there weighing only 10 pounds, and so you can pick the one that suits your lifestyle best. When it comes to Golden Doodles, there is a little more variance there, which is both good and bad depending on how you look at it. Since the dog is a cross between two breeds, determining the exact size will come down to what generation the dog is, as well as how accurate the breeder is able to get. Golden Doodles tend to be a little bigger than their purebred counterparts, and can come in at over 60 pounds, but the popularity of the breed has made it pretty easy to find Golden Doodles both bigger and smaller than that size. For reference, there are three major versions you can choose from with the Golden Doodle, Standard, Medium, and Mini with the last option being classified as anything less than 30 pounds. Overall, both the Poodle and the Golden Doodle are popular enough that you will probably be able to find the perfect dog for you no matter which you choose, although the price may fluctuate depending on factors around some of the rarer sizes. Comparing Lifespan For large dogs, both the Poodle and Golden Doodle have excellent lifespans, which is great news. The standard poodle, when raised in proper conditions, can live between 12 and 15 years, while the golden doodle boasts a similar lifespan of 10 to 15 years. The range you see is due to a variety of factors, but being careful with which breeder you pick from and making sure they're legit will go a long way here. Size does play a role here too, so picking a smaller dog may help you keep your furry companion around for well over 15 years in some cases. We've also listed some health issues that both the Poodle and Golden Doodle tend to suffer from. 
Most of these health issues are the result of either improper care or more likely a mistake on the breeder's part. And so as long as you are vigilant and mindful that these can pop up, you're most likely going to be okay. Comparing Appearance While there are clearly some poodle characteristics visible on the Golden Doodle, they are very different in terms of appearance, which is a big factor to many potential dog owners. The poodle is traditionally a lean, lanky animal with a deep chest and long nose. The poodle can be all one color or a combination of colors, which is referred to as party colors. The poodle coat is curly, kinky, and will require frequent brushing and grooming to avoid matting and tangles. Poodles are considered to be very striking and stoic dogs, and are potentially the most recognizable breed on the planet. The Golden Doodle is almost the opposite of the Poodle in many ways, and doesn't have the same kind of coat variances that you would see from a Poodle or even a Labradoodle. Golden Doodles can vary in appearance depending on how much Retriever they have in them compared to the Poodle, and often have big faces and broad bodies. Golden Doodles usually have tan hair and often pretty curly coats too. The Golden Doodle is often described as looking like a big teddy bear dog to many, and they have definitely become pretty recognizable today with so many running around. Comparing the grooming experience While it's nice to not have to clean up after a shedding dog all day, both the Poodle and Golden Doodle require extensive grooming time as a result, and they can easily be classified as high maintenance in that regard. Even if you are taking your dog to the groomer every four to six weeks, that will not save you from daily brushing sessions to make sure your dog's hair remains untangled. And that commitment is non-negotiable if you pick up one of these dogs to bring home. There are a few things you can do to make the process easier on yourself, like investing in a good dog shampoo and brush are great examples. You can also ask your groomer to shave them down with something called the kennel cut, which shaves their coat down to avoid any matting issues. Once you get to the stage that the hair mats, your only real option is to shave that hair off, and so you should try to keep an eye on their coat. Comparing the training process While the grooming experience might be a little intense for some, the training process for both the Golden Doodle and Poodle is an absolute breeze, as both these dogs are smart and want to impress their owner. They also both love treats, which makes it easy to teach either dog tricks, commands, or really anything you want to try. One thing to keep in mind here, though, is exercise, which can play a huge role in the training process. These are active dogs, and they're not going to be at their best if you aren't giving them the proper exercise they need in order to get all their energy out. It will be hard for either of these dogs to focus if they have pent-up energy, and Golden Doodles are even known to become a little destructive around the house if they are understimulated. Remember, these are pretty big dogs, and they require more exercise than a smaller breed. If that seems like an issue for you but you still want one of these breeds, looking into smaller versions should help with that problem, although they will still require time outside or in the yard. Comparing Costs now on to the less fun part, price. These are popular breeds, but it's also worth noting that after the initial cost is the long-term upkeep of your animal. From trips to the vet, to grooming, to giving them the proper food and toys, you are going to run up a pretty expensive bill caring for almost any dog, and the Poodle and Golden Doodle are no exception. There are also plenty of unexpected costs to consider, like emergencies that may come seemingly out of nowhere. What we're trying to say is that cost is going to come up with either breed, and you should consider this a long-term investment of both your time and finances before pulling the trigger on a big decision like bringing in a new member of the family. Before we reveal our thinking on this dog breed comparison, we want to hear from you, and so make sure to leave a comment on your preferred breed below. When it comes down to it, both dogs are reliable and friendly family dogs that will do a lot to brighten up your life. If you would force us to choose, though, we would say it depends on a few different factors. If you want the polished purebred experience or want a dog with a ton of accolades, you should probably choose the Poodle. But if you are someone who values fun and a big silly goofball, and you want to own one of the most popular hybrid dogs, then you should totally take another look at the Golden Doodle. But that's just our thoughts, and we can't wait to read yours in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, it would help us out if you liked the video, and you should think about subscribing if you want to see more Doodle videos on our page. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.